Shalom, Aki, I'm Shalom, it's the brother Yahweh Shapat coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Waharaka, Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. <clears throat> and in that day, seven women, seven just represents completion shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach now um you know spirit got on me to do this lesson man because you know uh us brothers in this truth man you know usually brothers either dealing with uh with one woman you know or you know a lot of brothers you know we just kind of uh how can I say it? We, we, you know, the Lord might send you a, throw you a bone every now and then, you know, you get you some boxing, you keep, keep it pushing, you know, you continue to hasten the day. But, um, you know, Hey man, you know, a lot of us, like I said, either we got one woman or we don't have one, one woman, or, or any woman at all. You know, sometimes man, uh, Jake can go, you know, you, you, you might go a long little stretch or long stretches without, you know, like getting some box, man. But, you know, uh, you learn that, hey, man, hey, the Lord just can teach teaching us how to control our flesh for one, you know, and number two, uh, hey, man, most of these women ain't shit, man. You know, y'all will buy some, y'all shall be saving us from a fucking headache, man, and out of love. You know, uh, we princes of the power, man, and, that, and, and you know, hey, Yahweh is that great king. Yahweh Shah is, 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 you know, that king under him. You know what I'm saying? You know, Yahweh, Yahweh pretty much uh, set Yahweh Shai up as king. You know, with that being said, man, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, they keep us uh, out of trouble, man, when it comes to these women. Because a lot of these women, man, they they really just want to use you for what you got, you know, drain you of your energy and keep it pushing, man, and, and jump on the next ride. You know, so we just got to keep that in mind, you know, uh, the black woman has completely lost her fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? In, in in every sense you can think of, you know, and I would go as far as to say the Israelite woman in general, because, you know, uh, I heard Elder Apostle Raka, you know, speaking on this, man. You know, uh, hey, Elder Apostle Raka was, was keeping it a hundred, man. You know, pretty much he was going into the point that all the Israelite women are out of order because, the Issacharite woman, uh, the Zebulonite woman, and I'm just naming tribes. Man, all the tribes, man, they follow after the Judite woman, and the Judite woman is completely bugged out of her fucking mind, bro. So the rest of these women of the tribes, they follow in that same vibration because the the, the so-called black woman is the head. She comes from the head tribe. All the other tribes want to be like uh, Eve, man, putting weave in their hair, extensions in their hair and shit, wearing makeup, you know, uh, pretty much living a life of whoredom and, 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 and glorifying it. You know, I say all that to say this, man. Uh, you know, we ain't got to worry about women, man. You know, these women, they see us, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and for the most part, we got to remember that hey, these women are more scared to approach us than we are uh, to approach them. But eventually, you know, uh, like the scriptures say, um, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Not only will two thirds be trying to they cry inside to you, how about some y'all shot when it's too late? But these women, they going to see that, hey, I ain't eight in days. Or, or, or rather not that, uh, you know, uh, say, 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 say this, man. You know, you got a woman that's around her, you know, she done lost all of her uh, family. You know, she done seen a lot of death. You know, we, we in Jacob's trouble. And she sees a man, a Yahweh by some y'all shot with this glow on him. You know, and, and, and she see this man, you know, uh, pretty much looking uh, more unscathed and untouched than, than, than everybody else. Hey, these women are going to flock to us, man. They're going to see the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai dwelling in us in a very dark time. And they're going to see that uh, we can offer protection. And hey, that's what these women going to say. They're going to say, look, man, I, I got bread. I got I got clothes. I, I know how to make clothes. Let me be down with you, man. Hey, well, these women going to try to get down with brothers. And we're going to get our pick of the litter. You know, 
Some of these women going to get told to get the fuck on. And some of them, they, hey, we going to say, you know what? You can get down with me, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, all hell is breaking loose. And you women are going to be the prey. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have some Jake men that's going to fall in Jacob's trouble. But the main prey will be you Israelite women. <clears throat> I'm going to get a Isaiah 32 and 9. Because we living in them times, man. Eve is suffering. You know, I got women in my family. They, they they just fucking catching hell, bro. They can't keep a job or they can't keep some decent money, you know, and, and this place is on its way out. So that means, Eve, uh, your little temporary seat that you had uh, in, in Esau's kingdom, the Lord is getting ready to break that motherfucker down. And a lot of you women are going to get, hey, y'all going to get brought, brought very, very low. Who's going to suffer the most when there's no clean water? Who's going to suffer the most, you know, um, when we out here in the wilderness? When you got you, you might have to run from your home. You might have to be out here in the wilderness. You know, animals can smell blood. And what do women do? They bleed for seven days, seven to five to seven days straight every month. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man, so Eve, pretty much, bro, you finna catch pure D hell. A lot of y'all are going to get raped by these fucking U.N. troops. You know, they're going to rape you and bust your goddamn head. Hey, and I'm keeping it all the way raw and uncut because you women need to hear this, man. If, if you don't if you don't get down with a man that you hold by some y'all shy, you're through. You're not going to make it. You know, hey, the Lord is dealing with men, bro. He's, he's going to make a man a hiding place. You know, this is Isaiah 32 and 2. And, and a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. You know, so a man's going to be a hiding place, man. That's why Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to come to pass. Hey, these women going to be trying to get, they, they going to be trying to hide under a man that I was shot. I don't, I, you know, I don't even want to go into a rent, man, because it's just, it's, it's just going to be that. You women ain't going to have no choice. See, right now, they look at us like we ain't shit because we don't have any power. And we all know, you know, in the, in, the, uh, in the words of the beloved Apostle Gabar, women flock to power. We don't have that right now. We got the power because we got this word and the understanding of this, uh, this word of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, man, which is a sword. You know, I believe that's pursuant to uh, Hebrews 4.12. Let me just check right quick. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, we, we, we got power, man, but it hasn't physically manifested, you know, and, and it will on our way up out of here, man. And these women going to want to get down with brothers. You know, these women are going into a time of suffering. Hell, they suffering right damn now. This is Isaiah 32 and 9. And it's going to get worse. That's the thing about it. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hey, the so-called black woman is at ease, man. You getting child support, you getting food stamps, you know, you got a little check from your job, you know, uh, you might got a couple of niggas that's giving you a little extra money on the side. Hey, man, Eve living in luxury. But you know what? A lot of you women are fucking uh, uh, zombies, man. Y'all are zombies of pleasure. Like the scriptures tell you, you know, uh, she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. A lot of these women look look like fucking uh, uh witches man in the face you know the scriptures tell you that the, the wickedness of a woman uh darkeneth her countenance roughly paraphrasing that scripture so man you know this bitch can be can be fine man but it ain't about the looks on the outside if you, if you got discernment you're gonna be able to look at a spirit and a lot of you women got a wicked ass fucking spirit on you man and it's it it, it, it has darkened your countenance you know what i'm saying you know so uh yeah, I'm going to keep reading. It says, uh, many days, so like it rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. So your, you, you women are going to lose child support. You're going to lose food stamps. You're going to lose your job. A lot of y'all are going to lose the right to work, you know? When Esau, hey man, Esau is 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 he pretty much uh, did a number on Jake, and he used our women to do so. Well, now 
hey, Esau turning that fucking sword on Eve. All you see is Eve pregnant, getting her ass jacked up. Eve uh, 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 getting slammed to the ground, getting her fucking mouth busted. You women are under attack. Hey, some guy in NYC, he rolled, he ran past the woman, pulled her fucking shirt down and put his, put his mouth on her breast. So this is the fucking reality, man. And a lot of you goddamn women ain't going to wake up till it's too fucking late, bro. A lot of y'all are going to be ravished by these UN troops, which they sick anyway. Hey, and, and, and you know, uh, all of the heathen are going into slavery. But the Lord is going to allow these fucking heathens to do a number on Jake, man, during Jacob's trouble. You're going to have foreign Edomite soldiers. You're going to have uh, uh, foreign soldiers of, uh, from, from different nations. You know, but that's what the U.N. troops are. And if you haven't noticed, a hey, soldiers like to rape women, children and shit. Sometimes men, bro. Jacob's trouble is going to be worse than slavery. So some of that same shit that was going on during slavery is going to happen again. The only way you will escape from these evils is if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah decides to have mercy upon you. If he does not, you're going to suffer some uh, hor horrifying things, man. Like I said, you women, you know, uh, y'all going to be at the forefront of getting fucked up, bro. Y'all need me and more than we need y'all. But anyway, I'm going to keep it scriptural, man. I'm going to read down to verse 11. Tremble ye women that, that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon, upon your loins. So you women should be uh, in a state of mourning if you're wise. You'll realize what's upon us, man, and act accordingly, man. You know, these women look down on us right now, but when all hell break loose, they're going to want to get with us. See, because Jake, uh, uh, the brothers, man, we don't pussyfoot around no fucking woman. We not going to fucking go get a line up or shape up to look better for you. Hey, if you don't like the beard, fuck you, man. Keep it pushing. You know, these women wicked as hell, so they like wicked ass niggas. I noticed this, man, and I know other brothers can attest to it. You get a little, you you get it, you get around Eve, and y'all might be flirting or what the fuck ever, you know, blase swoop. Uh, she, you know, y'all ask each other, what you interested in, what you do on the weekends, you know, uh, blah blah blah, you know, uh, she ask you, do you smoke? You tell her, no, nah, I don't smoke. You ask her, what well, shit? Do you got a boyfriend? She, well, yeah, but, you know. We kind of, it's kind of complicated. We, I still be doing me. So basically you telling me, you know, uh, you a hoe, man. You're a whore. You know, that's the, that's the conversations you have with them. And you will notice that if you're not trying to fucking smoke a swish, a swisher with her, she don't want to kick it with you. See, Eve is caught all up in wickedness, man. A lot of these women are fucking blunt monkeys, drug heads, and drunks. Which all of those things are very, very unladylike, you know, but that's what we got to deal with. And that's why a lot of brothers, man, um, and, and, and I, you know, I, I ain't found me a sheet of might that I can deal with. But Lord willing, you know, hey, y'all about some y'all was shot, sent something my way. But man, Jake tired of Eve, bro. It's to the point where I won't even fucking, she, I, she can look good, but I'm looking past that. What's her spirit like, man? What type of mindset does she have? A lot of these women look good, but they ain't shit. House dirty. They dirty. Hey, man, these women are, 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 are of today are the biggest fucking catfishes on earth, bro. You know, you get with them and they got that, uh, that, uh, uh that glamour on that fucking, uh, uh, alluring spell, which they call makeup and all that other eyelashes, all that shit. Hey, throw some fucking, uh, some, some water on the bitch and she'll be a different person. You know, we live in a in a time period of, of, of where catfishing is just normal. Because a lot of these women, man, they look fine as hell on social media. But when you get around them in person, this bitch, uh, you know, popped. And and, 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 and I mean that, man, in every sense of the word. Toe up from the flow up, man. You know, so, yeah, man, these, these women that we got around that we dealing with, they're not even women. Because women serve their men. They know that they they were made to serve, and they love it, cooking and cleaning and, 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 you know, this, that, and the third. 
these ain't women that we dealing with, man. You know, you see, you see the the so called black woman. This bitch running around with a black and mild in her mouth, or a, a swish of sweet or a goddamn uh, cigarette hanging out of her mouth, like she's a fucking mechanic or something, man. You know, so hey, man, uh, you know, we we we, we you know, y'all about some y'all shot gave us a, a women of whoredom, wives of whoredom. You know, because we, the Lord looks at us as his wife and then part of that punishment that he put upon us was, you know, our, the women that we have to deal with, man. The Lord's showing us how it feel for somebody to betray you like we betrayed him. But you know, our, our iniquity is almost accomplished. You know, and Yahweh Shem Yahushua will set his men back up in order and the women will follow suit. You know, but yeah, man, you you women gonna have it hard coming here, coming up, man. You know, y'all 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 finna get ready to go through some untold and unseen things, bro. And you will need a man of Yahweh by Shem uh, uh, so that you can make it. You know what I'm saying? You got some, probably a few sisters here and there that's gonna make it without a man, but a lot of you women ain't gonna, uh, uh, you know, you gonna need a man, bro. And that's just that's that's the long or the short of it. I mean, Salakia, that's the short, short version of the long version. <laughs> you know, Jake a little tired, man. You know, but hey, the work got to get done. You know, uh, yeah, man. He, hey, brothers, you know, just want to kind of exhort brothers, man. You can never exhort enough. You know, um, we'll get women, man. All we got to do is stay strong and stay firm and uh, continue in the faith. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, hey, how about some y'all shots going to look out for us? He going to take care of us, man. You know, these women going to try. They going to get down or lay down, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out with that. Lord willing, this was edifying. And until the next one, I say shalom.